Hello, Satnam. I'm here at the stunning Delgado Estate and I thought I would do a nice spinal stretch and breathing technique video. So to begin our practice, we'll place the hands at heart center and tune in to one long ohm. Straightening the spine, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling to begin. Om. And we'll continue with simple left nostril breathing, placing the right hand, the left hand in Gyan Mudra with the tip of the index finger touching the tip of the thumb and placing it on the left knee. And then you'll use your right thumb on the side of your right nostril. The other four fingers are straight all together, extended upright to the cosmos like an antenna. And then you simply take long, deep breaths in and out the left nostril. Take one more long inhale and exhale. And then release the hand down. And we'll continue. There we go. That's a better view of the beautiful sky and palm trees. We will continue with cat and cow. So we're gonna come on to all fours in a tabletop position, aligning the hands and middle of the wrists underneath the shoulders, and then the knees are right in line with the hips. And then when you look through your feet, you don't see your feet because they're in line with your knees. So this is a neutral spine, and then we're gonna drop the belly and tilt the pelvis and inhale as the chin goes up to the sky. And then the motion starts from the pelvis as you begin to round up the spine through each vertebrae, tucking chin to chest. Exhale it. Inhale again. Exhaling, rounding the spine, pulling the navel towards it. Inhaling, opening up through the collarbones, feeling the stretch in the lower belly, pulling the navel to the spine. And then exhale, rounding the spine forward. And you find your own groove with this. It, some days it feels good to go slowly. Some days it feels good to do a nice kundalini fast cat cow. Some days you do a wild cat and you tilt one direction and then the other. We find what feels good for our body, knowing that our body feels differently every day. We'll just take a couple more rounds of this. And the option to stay moving in our cat and cow or extending the, left, the right leg out and the left arm forward and then pulsing one, two, three, four, five. Either continue with your cat and cow or extend the left leg out to the hip height, the right arm out and pulse one, two, three, four, then we cross the shins over, come onto a seat, comfortable seat back in Sukhasana. And from here, we'll inhale the right arm up and exhale, bending over towards the left. Nice rotation of the shoulder, looking up towards the sky, breathing into the right rib cage. Inhale up. Exhale the arm down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, folding over towards our right side, maintaining the curvature of the shoulder blades and the rib cage. Breathing space into the left side body. Inhale through center. Exhale down. And now we're gonna come onto our back. 
for kind of like a seated pigeon or a figure four position. So the feet are hip distance on the mat. Snuggle the shoulder blades under, tuck the tailbone in, and then we'll take the right ankle and place it just underneath the left knee. And then we'll inhale and interlace the fingers behind the left thigh. Maintain a flex in the right foot to protect your knee. And then as you inhale, you just gently pull. Gently pull on the left thigh, behind the left thigh. And you'll feel this stretching out in the right hip flexor area. You can also be pushing out through your right knee to create a deeper stretch. And use your exhale to just go a little micro movement deeper. Staying for the inhale and exhale the feet down. And then we switch sides. Left foot comes up, interlace behind the right, and slowly, slowly pull towards you. Maintain the flex of your left foot to protect your left knee. You can do some circles with your right ankle, one direction, then the other. On your next exhale, just pull a little closer. Staying for our inhale and exhale the feet down. Now take the feet to the widest edge of the mat and allow the knees to drop inward. You might need to readjust the shoulders here, tilting the pelvis towards the sky, dropping the navel to the spine. Take a moment to breathe, one breath inhaling, and then a nice sigh, exhaling out the mouth. <sighs> Placing one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Feeling the beating of the heart, the rising and the falling of the chest with the breath. And then we'll open up the arms wide, slightly heel toe the feet in. Inhale and then exhale, allowing the knees to drop towards the right side. And if it feels great for you, look out over the left shoulder, keeping both shoulders peeled to the mat. And if you want to go deeper, you could always take the right ankle to the top of the left thigh to deepen the stretch. Check in with your body. Notice if you're holding any tension anywhere. Send the breath to those places. And then releasing the legs. We inhale the knees through center and then use your exhale to let them drop over to the left. Again, now the gaze comes out to the opposite side on the right. And this might feel perfect as is, or you might choose to go a little deeper, hooking that left ankle on the top outside of the right thigh. Just sinking into the stretch. And unhooking bringing the legs up, pulling the knees to the chest, rocking gently side to side, massaging that lower sacrum and IT band. And then slowly exhaling the right leg, spilling off the mat, followed by the left. Palms come out facing up, snuggling the shoulders in, taking any final movements until you slip into Shavasana. Scanning the body allowing you to grow heavy, connected to the earth, softening the muscles of the face, relaxing the jaw, relaxing every single hair on your head. If you have extra time, you can stay in this position as long as you like, or we can draw the knees back up into the chest, can roll to the one side, 
Press yourself up, coming to a nice, comfortable seat. Thank you for showing up on your mat, for showing up for yourself. Feel gratitude, rejoice in the moment, be grateful to be alive, and enjoy the rest of your day. Placing the hands to the third eye center for our shared collective offerings. Together we bow. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed your little 10 minute session. A little yoga goes a long way. Satnam.